In today's video, we're going to take a trip to South Africa to go diving with seals through beautiful kelp forests, all so that we can learn about marine mammals and adaptations. What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're learning about marine mammals adaptations. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. All my life I've dreamed of what it would be like to live in the ocean. Wouldn't it be amazing to explore the depths of the oceans like Aquaman? Nice. These lobsters walked right up to the door. Anyone hungry? The Johnsons! Oh no! <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> maybe not that Aquaman. Aquaman. Aha, yes, that guy. Anyway, unfortunately, I can't live in the ocean. Why? Because if I tried to live in the ocean, I'd likely die from drowning, hypothermia, or eventually my skin would probably begin to swell up so much that I would end up looking like my granddad. Hello there, sonny. Yet, despite these terrible odds, there still exists a daring, air-breathing group of mammals who have broken the boundaries of what it means to be a mammal. These rule-breaking mammals thought, phew, who cares if we're warm-blooded and we need to stay on land where it's warm? And who cares if we need air to breathe? Let's live in the ocean, like fish. Hello there. Seals, dolphins, whales, and other forms of marine mammals have decided to spend their life at sea, despite having to come to the surface to breathe. But my question is, how on earth do these marine mammals survive in the ocean without drowning? Well, to find that out, I think it's time that we go on a trip. Seal Island, South Africa, getting ready to jump into the seals. They look hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Seals can survive in the ocean thanks to their incredible adaptations. Adaptations are traits that help living organisms survive in their environment. In other words, they are special abilities or superpowers, if you will, that animals have to help them survive and, you know, like not die in an area that they live. Which is probably where the people who made Pokemon got their ideas from. Water gun attack now! All animals have adaptations that are kind of like their superpowers. Seal power. Activate. <laughs> You've got my seal of approval. So what superpowers, sorry, adaptations do seals actually have? Well, to help them swim through the water quickly, to catch fish and escape predators, seals have flippers instead of paws. The shape of the seal's body is also wide in the middle and more narrow at the ends, which makes it more streamlined, more hydrodynamic. This helps the seal to move quickly through the water so that it can catch fish to eat, but also escape predators like sharks. In fact, the area that we were snorkeling in was not just known for seals, but was also known for sharks, because sharks eat seals. Thankfully, we didn't meet any sharks that day though. Right now, I'm being surrounded by the last seals. It's amazing, they're coming right up to you. Some of them are very playful. They all got their different personalities. 
Seals are mammals, and unlike fish, mammals are warm-blooded, so it's very important that seals stay that way. To do this, seals have a thick layer of blubber under their skin. Blubber is a thick layer of insulating fat that keeps the seal warm in the cold waters. The seals also have specially designed fur that is thick to keep them warm, but also short so that they can move quickly through the water. Their fur is basically like a tight, thick wetsuit. Seals also can open and close their nostrils, which allows them to breathe when they're out of the water, but also stops water from getting in when they're diving. Seals not only have more blood than humans, but they also have thicker blood full of red blood cells. More red blood cells means more oxygen can be carried in the blood, and more oxygen in the blood means that the seals can stay underwater for much longer. All of these incredible adaptations are a result of millions of years of evolution. Okay, and now finally, time for a cool science experiment that you can do that I like to call the blubber glove. Basin, filled with water. Oopsies, my bad. Add some ice cubes. Stir until stirred. A little taste test. Yes, I can confirm that it is now cold. Put your hand in the basin and feel the burn. The iceberg. Oh good, you wouldn't belong getting fresh, but... Cold. Sandwich bag. Fat. Fill the sandwich bag full of the fat or the butter. Pat that bad boy down to spread evenly. Place your hand in a manly pink glove that looks like it hadn't been washed in years. Oh! Now place that hand into the sandwich bag. Now spread that fat that is acting as a blubber around the entire surface of the glove. And now place this hand into the ice cold water bath. You should notice that the water feels a lot less cold thanks to the blubber glove. And so it comes to the end of our video about marine mammals adaptations. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out some of the other videos on my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.